Okay, now it's recording. <clears throat> this is my 2012 specialized um, cross trail sport disc bought in uh, late summer of 2011. So it's uh, now about uh, five years old. Um, it has uh, it spent uh, a little over a year in Seattle, uh, then about the uh, same amount of time in uh, Chiang Rai, then uh, uh, Siam Reap, then uh, Ban Chang, and then um, uh, uh, Chiang Mai, and, uh, and Siam Reap again. So about five years or so on the road with the bike, or four and a half years, something like that. Uh, actually five and a half altogether counting uh, Seattle uh, and since that time it has changed quite a bit I didn't realize it at first when I started building it I ended up uh, building a, uh, a sort of a German style uh, touring trekking bike um, it, uh, it came naturally actually I just as uh, parts started to fail I uh, started to replace them with uh, with things that uh, came out in the end looking like this. All right. uh, so the first thing that I changed actually was the fork because the uh, uh, the, the suspension fork that was in the front uh, uh, gave out uh, within a year while I was in Seattle. So I replaced it with the uh, uh, Salza Fargo fork um, and uh, it, uh, it is, has been really good to me. I've, I've really liked it, the change, so I uh, by far prefer uh, the, uh, uh, the rigid front fork uh, over the suspension fork that was on there. The uh, second thing that I actually replaced on the bike uh, was uh, uh, the tires because uh, the tires were constantly going flat on me uh, the the tires that came from uh, specialized uh, so I did some research online and found that all the people who uh, uh, do long distance touring around the world touring uh, tend to use Schwabe tires uh, some continental of course but but mostly, mostly Schwalbe, they're, they're really serious people. And, um, and the highest end of the Schwalbe uh, is the uh, 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 touring tires, is the Marathon Mon Mondial. Um, uh, yeah, the, uh, the Schwalbe, let me get show it there. Marathon uh, Mondial folding tire. Uh, it, um, it, actually what was happening at the time was that I was already having flat, quite a few flats in Seattle uh, when I was still very new to the, to the bike. Um, and um, it, uh, it took a while before I found out that uh, uh, you had to have a, that the manufacturers don't put a very good tape or no tape inside the rim. So a, a high quality uh, tape took care of it. But then, uh, when I uh, uh, changed over to, uh, to Thailand, um, or at least first Cambodia and then uh, uh, Thailand, I had still had really a lot of flats um, because the roads here in, uh, in Southeast Asia are, uh, are pretty rough. So um, there, there, there are these little wires from truck tires and glass and things all over the place. So it was just getting ridiculous. Uh, I couldn't find um, the, uh, the the tires that I wanted in in Thailand when I decided finally to change. Uh, but um, uh, I, I went online and found Bike 24 in Germany and had them send them to me. They had a special price at the time. So basically, a tire that in some places sells for a hundred dollars a piece. Uh, this is uh, 28 by 175, or uh, close to, to two inches wide. Uh, in some places, this tire costs uh, um, uh, 
uh, up to a hundred dollars a piece but uh, I got them for somewhere around 35 or so a piece so I had two of them sent from uh, uh, from Germany to uh, to Thailand uh, actually uh, I guess it was um, uh, Christmas of 2013 something like that and uh, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah, four and a half. So I've been using these tires for four and a half years now. And, um, yeah, uh, 14, so 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, three and a half years I've been using these tires. I have not had even one flat. Uh, it's, it's really quite amazing, right? Now the second change I made was the, the crank because um, I decided that um, uh, since uh, Shimano had just come out with a complete uh, touring um, set of Deore or, or Deore, whatever it's, however it's pronounced, um, uh, that uh, I would uh, change over piece by piece. Now again, being in, in, uh, in, in, in Cheng Rai, Thailand at the time, um, I immediately <laughs> noticed after they installed it that this was not really the uh, nine-speed um, crank; that this was the ten-speed crank. But okay, never mind. Uh, it's there. It's a uh, um, what is it? Twenty-six, thirty-six, forty-eight. So pretty wide range. Right? Um, the uh, uh, after about the same time. Uh, and that has also been very good. I have no no complaints at all, right? Uh, about this. The uh, after I changed the uh, uh, the the crank, I found then a uh, uh, by just by accident in a uh, in a bike shop, I found this uh, butterfly bar. And uh, I had been thinking about it, so I did it also at that time. And uh, what it cost me, like $25 or something, you know, for this bar. I have no idea who the manufacturer is or anything. It was dusty. It had been sitting there for a while um, on the shelf of this bike, bike shop in Chiang Rai. Uh, at the same time, I also wasn't that happy with the, uh, with the stem. Uh, so I found a used stem there for like $30, $30 I guess, something like that, um, maybe less, uh, in the same shop. It's actually a mountain bike stem. Uh, they didn't want to sell it to me because they, they thought that my bike should have something lighter, that, that this is too heavyweight for, the, for my bike. But uh, I don't know, I, I, I kind of like having something a little bit more heavy duty on here because you know, you get tired of things breaking down. Um, so that was done at that time. The, um, uh, nothing, well, nothing else was, uh, they did the, the rack in the, in the back here, that is actually uh, uh, rack time, um, uh, what is it, Snap It, uh, award-winning, considered the best, uh, strongest rack. A rear rack um, uh, uh, aluminum, the strongest aluminum rack made, um, and uh, I uh, I bought that at, uh, right at the time when I bought the bike. So I've had that uh, uh, the entire time, and I'm extremely happy with it. the The lock is a kryptonite cable lock that I also bought at the time when I um, uh, when I bought the bike. And I'm also extremely happy. I've had no problems. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, I think no one has even attempted to break it. But uh, you know, if they uh, if they did, they weren't successful. You know? uh, now, funny enough, here the the uh, the quick release on the uh, um, on, on the uh, on the seat uh, on the seat post uh, is something <laughs> that I bought in Chiang Mai uh, just this last year uh, because the original one that came with the bike, um, which was not a quick release, just disintegrated. I mean, it, it just didn't last. Uh, I guess it lasted uh, uh, 
you know, it, it lasted uh, three years or whatever. So in the, about a year ago, I had to uh, um, get this one, and uh, I was uh, I already had my train ticket out of there and stuff, and so I needed it. Um, I couldn't find what I wanted anywhere, and I didn't want to go too far. I was really in a hurry. So a local bike shop actually um, sold me this one for what was it like fifteen dollars off of one of the mountain bikes that was sitting in their lot. Um, the uh, uh, the back the bag on the rear rack is also rack time. It definitely needs replacement. Um, it is fantastic. I guess I have to find another rack time one. I'd love to actually find the same one again, but it has been discontinued and there's a, uh, a newer one uh, now that uh, looks a little bit too much like a city bike kind of rear bag, but um, whatever. This, this one, the, the zipper is um, close to, you know, it, it doesn't always function correctly. It really looks pretty bad. I tore some bags that were on the side that expanded with longer bags down the sides. I uh, cut them off at one point because uh, they were interfering with the uh, rear panniers that I'm using. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's why this sort of two-tone look there. But it's a fantastic bag. I really like it. I hope I can find the same one to replace it with. Uh, the rear light back here is... Uh, um, is is a was about thirty five dollars or so also in in Chiang Rai Thailand. Um, it, uh, it it works really well. I like it. Yeah. Uh, it's from a Red Light is the name of the company. I think some you know I'm not sure. Well, obviously it's Chinese or something. Yeah. Uh, the the light that I had originally bought is actually uh, a uh, 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 what is it, Reese and Miller or something? Uh, it's one. Of, it's a German light, but it has always had problems with the batteries. So most of the time, it's just a reflector. Um, uh, I, you know, I, I if I find uh, there's a more modern-looking version of it now, and if I if I find it for sale anywhere, I will buy it, or I'll buy it on when I. Uh, when I get to Germany, right? So, oh, the, I should say, the tires are definitely, at this point, starting to crack around the edges and stuff, but they've, you know, they've been faithful, they've been uh, three and a half years, uh, no flats, no nothing. Um, I want to get a new set, can't get them here. I am planning to go to Germany, so I'll probably, I'll just uh, buy them when I get there. Now, you may have noticed that the Alex rim uh, that's on the bike here, uh, the XD light rim, which is a uh, uh, 62218, uh, really meant for more of a road bike, but it just barely, uh, um, it, it works for, for the tires, obviously. Uh, I bought it because uh, the original, which is also Alex rims that came on the bike, um, it, it, it died on me. I mean, some of the, uh, uh, the spokes actually popped out of the rim and uh, they, were, you know, they sort of exploded out. Um, so I had no choice. I had to buy this. Uh, it's the only thing I could, I could find. I think it cost, it didn't cost me that much. You know, the, the, I think the wheel cost me about uh, uh, $50, something like that. Right? Um, the, since we're in the back here, uh, the Shimano uh, uh, G20 uh, cassette is still the original. Um, I have been looking to upgrade that, but I haven't found the one that I want yet. Um, it's getting a little bit harder to find nine speed, you know, in the in the parts shops or at least here. So uh, uh, Maybe when I get to Germany, whatever I will uh, at some point, but I'm, I'm not having any problems with it um, I'd like to maybe extend the range a little bit. Uh, it's uh, uh, 12 uh, uh, 12 32 I'm thinking maybe 11 34, you know like that and um, 
uh, probably stay with the Dea Ray one. Um, you know, not. I, with this bike, I'm not exactly concerned about weight or anything like that, right? Um, now, going down a little bit here, this uh, uh, Dea Ray um, uh, nine speed uh, is uh, uh, a rear derailleur is uh, very new. That was uh, only about two or three months ago that I uh, installed this on the bike. Um, so it's, uh, and, uh, and even more recently, like about, uh, uh, in this, in a couple of weeks ago, I also put a new front dairy derailleur. So now my drivetrain is 100%, uh, uh, Shimano. Oh, I'm sorry, the, actually the, uh, the rear derailleur was, uh, done about, uh, a, close to a year ago. Um, it uh, it's the uh, the shifters that were that were done more recently. Um, actually, just uh, just within the last uh, uh, couple of weeks. All right, so that's a uh, so they're the nine-speed Shimano shifters. I have to say that uh, my advice to anyone that has lower range than this upgrade <laughs> there was a ton of difference i should have done this like immediately after buying the bike uh, it is so much better so um, the combination maybe of uh, the shifter and the and and the rear derailleur it's just working really 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 smoothly um, all right see the derailleur so there It's uh, three in the front and nine in nine in the back. Uh, the brake, where you can see the brake levers here, that's um, hydraulic, uh, Tektro, Draco, uh, original. It's one of the few original parts on the bike that works extremely well, um, and uh, they uh, to, at the time. Uh, the uh, uh, I think this was one of the first of the hybrids that actually had disc brakes. Uh, um, only mountain bikes were you really using disc brakes in those days. So uh, uh, at, at this point, of course, uh, even road bikes come with uh, with disc brakes. Uh, fairly new development, but uh, but yes, I can tell you uh, the reason I did the disc brakes was because. Uh, I was living in Seattle when I was there, up and down. I wanted to drive in the winter, the snow, the, the rain, all that stuff. I figured uh, I would need it. Huh? And uh, it was a good decision. <laughs> it was the right thing. And these, um, uh, the, these brakes are very, very good. I mean, if they, if they fall apart at any point from now on, I, you know, I will not complain because they they definitely have lasted. Um, the rear the bike stand is also from Specialized. Um, I bought it with the bike uh, originally new. I it's it's kind of weird because uh, the, the the salesman didn't want to sell me this. He wanted to sell me some really you know lightweight soup something you know flimsy thing but uh, I, I knew that I would be traveling in Cambodia and Thailand and uh, Laos and Malaysia and like that so so I wanted something strong so when they came out with this one although they said oh expensive you know I I definitely went for it I think it's actually a specialized item I'm not really 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 sure right but uh, it was the right thing to get I have no idea what it's called right now one of the <laughs> things that uh, everybody always looks at uh, sees my bike thinks well why have I got these cheap pedals you know well it's because uh, the mountain bike I had before uh, that I had before buying this bike uh, I put uh, the, the uh, magnesium you know aluminum pedals on it uh, and uh, I mean, I did a lot of damage to my shins because, uh, okay, I ride, 
you know, on dirt roads and things like that. But I uh, also ride in the street. I, you know, I'm, I'm might jump over 